Okay, so this light right here was on last night when I was out to look at the lunar eclipse, which I didn't see because of the clouds. But it let me know since this loader's been sitting here for about a week that we had a wiring issue to look at. Along with, we got pretty LEDs on here now. But uh, yeah, that light should not have been on because the ground switch, which disconnects the ground to the battery, it was turned off. But the light was still on. Guess we'll go to the whiteboard and talk about it. Let's come back here. And look at this what I think is going on we have and let's just make it simple we'll just have lights let's say we have right here a light and it is a 12 volt light and it is oops it's not turned on um, yeah it's not turned on but it's connected to the ground. And we have a 24 volt light that comes from here. And it's a light and it's a 24 volt light. And it connects to the same ground. Now, why you put in the ground switch is so that everything can be turned off. And the thought is that if we have a ground switch here, it is essentially your 12 volts. This light won't come on if we're just looking at that. Now, if we just look at the 24 volt light, it won't come on either from getting the ground. It won't have 24 volts. But these two grounds connect together. They're both connected together. So if these are left on, unhooking the ground switch is not going to stop these from running. It'll just be that this one over here, which was the one I was seeing, was running really, really dim. And that's because it'll come through the grounds. You'll get 12 volts feeding essentially 36 volts worth of light. Which again, will not divide out quite even, but it doesn't matter in this case. 